So this is what the before and after looks like. You can tell that obviously this image is a composite. So I took the picture of myself in my apartment and I placed the tripod a little bit below eye level. And then I faced the suitcase in different directions and took about four or five different pictures that I ended up using in the main image. I'm learning a lot from other photographers just how important it is to create expansions in your photographs. So I decided to try that this time just to get a really nice depth of field. And it's easiest if you take your pictures on a tripod and then stitch them together on Photoshop. But in this case I didn't use a tripod. But to expand your photo you go to image then canvas size and that's how you get the white spaces around your image. Creating expansions is basically the same thing as creating a panoramic photo. So in this case I use three photos that I'm stitching together for the background image. And I'm just clicking the layers on and off so you can see what it looked like before and what it looked like after. Now I'm just using the lasso selection tool and I'm just outlining my body with the marching ants. Then I'm going to copy and paste that selection and move it over to the main image. And I'm going to hit command T on my keyboard to transform it, make it smaller. And I'm just going to go in with a hard paintbrush and just paint away where I don't want the selection to appear. To add a little bit of extra detail, I took a few pictures where I'm flipping my skirt for the camera. So I'm just going to copy and paste that selection onto the main image. I'm going to use a warp tool to make it bigger and stretch it out. And then I'm going to darken the layer a little bit so that it matches up a little bit better. And I'm going to create a layer mask on the skirt lip selection and just paint away at the edges of the selection so that it blends in with the rest of the skirt nicely. I also didn't like my feet in the original picture so I'm going to composite a different picture where I like the feet much better and I'm just going to bring that feet selection onto the main image and blend it in with the rest of the picture. I'm going to do the same thing with my hair and just copy and paste a new hair selection onto the main image use curves to match up the tones, then I'm going to redefine the edge and check the smart radius box to cut out a perfect hair selection. And feel free to take a screenshot of my settings here because it really shows how to make a perfect hair selection. And you can see that I took pictures of the suitcases here at different angles and I'm just going to make selections of each suitcase and I'm going to bring those selections onto the main image. And then I'm going to make sure to drag each suitcase selection underneath the main selection of me so that the suitcases appear underneath my body. And to make the picture realistic looking, we want to add shadows underneath each suitcase and also where my feet and skirt appear in front of the suitcase. So in order to do that, I'm going to use the burn tool at different sizes, mostly a really small size with a very soft brush around 50% exposure. And make sure to create a background copy layer when adding in the shadows so you can create a layer mask and erase away at any unwanted changes later. Unfortunately, my screen recording actually got interrupted in the middle of the Photoshop process, so I lost the rest of the recording, but the only other changes I made was adding a small Gaussian blur effect at the bottom of the image to add a more depth of field. I used about 15 or so curve layers for the coloring, and I also used selective color adjustment layers. I also used a small curve layer on my face to add more lighting. I used the dodge tool at like 15% exposure to add a beam of light in the background and also around my face and body. I changed the color of my skirt from a green to a blue color and I also composited in two more pictures of the suitcases around the frame of the picture. I also added several layers of noise reduction to my skin to give a more painterly effect and I used only one texture. I really hope that by showing you my editing process, I'm able to help you learn. I'm also learning as I go along, so it's great that we can learn together. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I can't wait to make for you another tutorial.